What is up guys? I am so sorry. I have to make this video over again because it wasn't recording or something. So anyways, very quick because I don't have enough space on my phone. I'm just going to be showing you how a, um, a misconception about benching. Or something that people don't pay attention enough to when benching. And it can... This will... This tip will dramatically increase your bench. So I'm going to show this video to prove um, that I'm going to show something that probably happens to a few people. And this is a form change that will allow me to get this weight up. Not necessarily a strength change. So here it is. So I come down. Of course I'm not pausing. This is not a powerlifting style. No. But anyway, I come down, but then I try to muscle it up using my shoulders, and of course I can't. So it's important not to do that, and to instead, when you're going up and pushing up, no matter what, even if it feels weird, even if you think you're not going to be powerful, to contract your lats and twist the bar apart. And when I say contract your lats, bring your, so you know how you arch your back? Well, you want to also bring your arms in, of course, while holding the bar. You want to bring your arms in by um, contracting your lats and squeezing inwards. And you can try that. You can try to bring, bring your arms in towards your body by contracting your lats and, and bring them slowly by squeezing the lats and almost not allowing them to get in. So anyway... So then, what you want to do to fix this error of trying to muscle up with your shoulder, sh shoulders, for heavier weight, because for heavier weight, you're always going to go for the easiest path, right? But what you want to do is you want to twist that bar apart, or what will help with this kind of issue, or just issues with PRs in general for benching, is, or if you're trying to go for a PR, what you can try to do, some tips are to keep your so when you go off the chest so when you go off your chest you want to keep your shoulders I mean your elbows and wrists in line and forward and keep them forward no matter what do not allow your elbows to swing back or get out of line with your wrists because then you're using your shoulders and you're not pushing you're not distributing the weight enough. You're not distributing your force into the weight properly. The force generated. Right? So here, of course it's heavy. And I'm thinking in my mind, like, I really want to use my shoulders to get it up. But I'm keeping my elbows in the same position. So when I get up to here, I can just use my triceps to muscle it up. And one of the, the biggest thing, another really useful tip is that I'm trying to pull the bar apart this way. So I'm twisting my wrist outwards as hard as I can. And that really will help with the lockout. So anyway, that's the tip. 